What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video and today I'm bringing you the Mertens poster design that I made the other day. A lot of positive feedback, probably one of my most liked designs yet on the channel. A lot of likes, about 30 or 40 likes, um, so thank you for all the support. Uh, link to the Instagram is in the description below and I'll put my little pop-up on the screen now. So uh, go follow the channel and um, yeah, that's about it really guys. Uh, thank you for all the support in the last video. I know that the um, the quality of it wasn't great. I think there was a bit of a problem with my editing software, but I didn't I didn't realize. So if, if there is any of this happening again, just let me know in the comments and I'll try to sort it out. But it shouldn't happen this time. So uh, all the textures are in the description below. Thank you for all the support guys, all the likes and everything. It's been great. Uh, I'm really loving speaking to you guys and stuff and on the Instagram I'll put a few of you guys up on the screen now a few of the screenshots the messages and stuff It's just amazing. So thank you for all the support over the past few weeks guys um, We've hit 500 subscribers again. So uh, that's just great um, Another goal achieved so road to a thousand now. So hopefully we can get there um, But yeah, all the support's been great guys. So thank you for that uh, and yeah without further ado Let's get straight into the video Guys, welcome back. So this is the design we're going to be creating today. Uh, you will have already seen it because I'll put it up on the screen. But just wanted to quickly show you, like, there's there's not actually that many layers that go into this design. It may look a lot, but a lot of it's just textures again, layering up like we've done previously. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So what you're going to need to do first is create your page. So it's the same as usual, standard 1080 by 1350 for an Instagram uh, uh, for an Instagram upload. I'll just show you that quickly again. Canvas size. And then pixels 1080 by 1350 and that's your background to so change that to white first thing you'll need to do is create a new layer so if you click the plus down here on the right and you'll get your new layer and then you need to go to edit fill once you go to fill you're going to be presented with this little thing here so what you need to do is click on the color and then click again and then you'll bring up this little menu here so now you can pick the color of the background what we need to do is change this to a light gray so pretty close to the background but not so it's white because you want a little bit of gray in there so somewhere about here so i'm going to choose e2 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 so if you just copy that you'll have the same as me or you can pick your own but make sure it's quite a light gray anyway got that and then you click ok and now as you can see if i zoom in a little bit it, it is gray so uh but it's just not as uh, popping as the white was, so that's good. Now what we need to do is add some noise to this. So if you go to filter, then noise, and then add noise, and you'll be presented with this little menu here. So all you need to do is put 2.45. Uh, it's really subtle and it adds a nice little bit of grainy texture to the design. So all of these videos are about layering up textures and like applying different filters. So this should be pretty simple for you guys. So moving on, now we're gonna add in our first texture. So download the texture pack in the link below and you'll be ready to go. So if I go to our texture pack now, so you'll have this little message, you can delete that, just turn it off, up to you guys. And then we're gonna turn the textures layer on. So if we're gonna scroll down to the bottom, we're gonna to get to the texture 01. Um, let me just delete that one. If we go to texture number one, I'm gonna drag and drop this across. And as you can see, it's a nice half tone, um, little bit of texture going on here. What we need to do is grab that, and then we're just gonna position it over the whole design, like so. And then we're just gonna click OK. Now that we've got that in, we're gonna change it to a linear light. So if we go to our blending options, scroll down, and we're just gonna find linear light. That's all done. Now you can lock that if you want. You can do whatever with you, with, with, whatever you want with it. So that's all done. Now I'm gonna get my typography tool. So if you get your type tool, and then choose Anton font, link will be in the description again. And you're gonna to wanna to change this to about 30 points, and then you're just gonna type, oh, maybe not. <laughs> that's quite big, actually. No, it's not. It's just because I've got this really big, yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to scale this down, so don't put it to 30 points. Uh, just put it so it fits across the width of the uh, page. So something like about 11, that's fine. You can change it to 10 if you want it to be equal. And then we're just going to drag these two down, just holding Alt down and then getting three, three bits of type uh, like so. And then we're just going to Command T and we're just going to move these into the middle of the page like that. And that's all good to go. So now I'm just going to group those together, change that Merton's type. There we go. Now, what we need to do is create another layer over the top of this. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna get a really nice uh, pink layer or a, a light red, something like that. But we're gonna use the fill again. So edit, fill, and then color, and then color again. Now we're just gonna go to a nice light red. So something like this, that's good. So I'm gonna choose FD2D4F. There we go, and then click okay. 
as you can see we've got our nice color uh, cover over the top then what we're going to do is create a new layer mask on this layer get our paintbrush tool and then we're going to scroll down to where's my brushes torn paper brushes so the link will be in the description again and just going to select one of these so that you can see the uh, brush and then we're just going to rotate it a little bit to the side like that probably would be good that'd be good and then we just need to decrease the size a little bit so we can see it and then just gonna make sure you have black selected and just like that simple so that's all done now now the next thing we're gonna need to do is probably add in some texture to this so the texture you're gonna need is texture number two so if we go back to our texture pack and then get texture number two and then we're just gonna go down to this and we're gonna make sure it covers the whole design obviously because otherwise it wouldn't look right if it didn't. And then we're just gonna get it and clipping mask it to the red. Once you've clipping masked it to the red, you're gonna need to change this using blending options. I'm gonna use my blending options and I'm gonna go all the way down to something like divide. That looks nice. <laughs> Nice. Now it's not going to look perfect until you use your camera or filter because when I was designing this it didn't look great so you need to wait until you get to camera or filter stage for it to actually look really good. So moving on I'm just going to create a, another layer now so what you need to do is change your colors. So what you need to do is get two different blues so you want to get quite a light blue and then choose the other color and get quite a dark blue and then what you're going to do is create new layer again and then edit, uh, edit render clouds like so now i've done this before guys it's just going to be a liquify process so if you want to skip through this part of the video go for it so liquify and then we're just going to quickly go around and make a nice little bit of shapes go on the design like so pretty simple you guys know this anyway so there we go that's done real quick and nice and we're just going to leave that there for now so later on we're going to need to layer mask this out so i'm just going to create a new layer mask for now and then I'm just going to be done with that for now. The next thing we're going to need to do is get texture number three. So texture number three is going to be this uh, design here. So I've already got this done from like the previous design. So what I need to do is just delete this layer mask. So what you're going to have is a image like this. So it's going to be like this and you're going to need to change it to lighter color. So if you scroll down your blending options again, lighter color, that looks really nice. So now what we're going to need to do is change this and layer mask this side out. Uh, get a soft brush, probably be good. Um, completely up to you, you can use a hard brush as well if you'd like. And then what we're gonna do is just paint in the sides here. So as you can see, got a nice little liquify going on there, haven't we? But now what we're gonna need to do is also layer mask this side out so we have the red coming through, like so. Now can you see what I mean? The layer mask on the liquify layer is to get the red through, and the layer mask on the texture layer is to get the blue through. In essence, you want to make sure that your uh, design is quite, your brush is quite small so you can get right to the edges. But then again, you're going to want to make sure that the red's coming through too. So completely personal preference really what you decide to do here, guys. But I'm just going to try and make sure I get as much red coming through as well as the uh, blue just to make it look good. So if we just go back and look at our previous design, as you can see here, you can see the blue coming through. So what we need to do is um, we need to just layer mask uh, this this texture here so got a nice blue there um, and yeah moving on guys okay guys welcome back so as you can see from our previous design you can't see the text here so what we need to do is use a blend if so if you double click on this layer and then you're gonna get your blend if options here and what you need to do is hold alt and you're just gonna drag them across so you can sort of just figure out what works best so now as you can see as I've done that through the design you can see the text through it obviously so uh, and if you don't want to see as much, you can do that and make it a bit harsher. But yeah, that's what we're doing here. Basically, uh, what we've done is create a nice little gradient for the design. And yeah, it looks pretty It looks pretty good. Uh, just, just basically fill it out as you see fit. And obviously, as you would like it to look. And, and you should be good, guys. So again, just layering up little bits. Getting the bits of texture you think should should be coming through so i'm going to make sure all the white edges are coming through but obviously you want to make sure that the blue is strong as well the next thing we're going to do guys is add in some imagery now this is going to be quite a simple task so if you just go to your textures here you can turn them off for now turn your merton's images on open up the package and then get this image here now we're just going to drop this in the middle make this as big as you like probably quite big because it's going to be the centerpiece of the design like so then we're going to scroll down here and we're going to select this layer here so 
what we need to do is load this selection. Now, as you can see, I have loaded this selection and it's going to cut out the middle of this image. So if I just click layer mask now, as you can see the middle of it is cut out. So we want to undo that and we're going to go command shift I to switch the, the uh, selection and then it's going to take off his head. Now, we don't want the bottom bit here coming through like that. So command Z that just want the top of him. You're just going to make sure that you get his head coming through like so and make sure none of this is coming through make sure you use quite a small brush because you don't want to make sure the bottom comes through you just want to have a nice image on the top like so that's all good now what we're going to do is get the next image so what i'm going to do here is uh drop him in and i don't i'm going to do some shadowing and stuff but we don't need to do that yet uh make him fairly big so you can see him walking in pretty good that's good to go so moving on guys okay guys so you want to get your type tool again and we're just going to type in uh, we're going to get a font called Billionaires. What we're going to do is you're going to have to lock your type here at the back. Otherwise, you're going to keep selecting it. You're going to type Mertens again. But this time, we're going to choose a font called Billionaire. And it's going to be quite a... Uh, it's quite a a weird font I could say and we're just gonna make sure this is at the top of it you're not gonna see it like so and we're just gonna rotate it and put it up the side what you need to do here is increase this and now this is called the kerning as you can see as I increase it it makes the fonts go further apart so that's what we need to do there so you can leave that there or you can put it below the uh, two images like so but that's that's how that's gonna be for now and now what we need to do is high pass the images so I'm just gonna select my Merton's image command J and then I'm gonna go filter other high pass as we did in the previous videos just to give it that extra bit of uh, depth and stuff and then same with the standing one filter other high pass and then overlay it like so there we go now what we need to do is add a shadow for him so if we just create a new layer below him get our paintbrush tool make it really thin like we've done before you might have to angle this one a little bit otherwise it's not going to look too great because he's sort of standing in an off angle as you can see nice little black there we go and then if I just get the brush again and just sort of tilt it by his feet. Now, as you can see, he's got a nice little shadow there. That's worked well. So he's got a shadow, he's standing on something. That all looks good. So the next thing we're going to do is add in some more texture. So if I go back to my texture thing over here, and now we're going to need this texture number four. So if I just drag and drop this over the top, and what you need to do, make sure it fills out the whole page. Um, otherwise, it won't work properly. Something like that. Then you're going to get a layer mask. Big brush again, soft around brush, fairly big, two, about 400 or something like that, something about this big. And then what we're gonna do is just select a black and just layer mask out the middle, so like that. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna change this to a linear, a lighter color maybe. I can't actually remember. Let me just go check at the design what I used real quickly. Um, linear burn, that was it. So go to linear burn. That looks really nice. Now we've got the texture in the middle. So if you don't like it, if you don't like how much you've removed, you can obviously go back in, paint it all back in so it's not too strong on the design. But obviously, if you like how much is on there, then leave it as it is. But obviously, if you want the middle gone, but yeah, that looks good, guys. Having said that, uh, you can also change the color of this this uh, Mertens here so it, um, so it basically stands out a bit better. But yeah, that's how it should look. Now what we're gonna do is add two more textures and then we're pretty much done. So if I just go to my texture book here, get this pavement, and I'm gonna drag and drop that over the top. And again, just gonna clear overlay that. And what we're gonna do with this, we're gonna change this to color dodge. Adds a nice little bit of texture over the top, like so. It's like, just like a, another grainy effect, basically. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the paper as well. And we're just gonna drag and drop this in. And this is just gonna be a simple multiply effect. Now you can have this any way you want, but I'm gonna make sure that it doesn't cover his face. So I'm gonna get a layer mask. Then I'm just gonna paint over where his face is in black. Um, just get rid of it off him so it doesn't take away too much from him as a design. There we go. That looks really good. Now, the only thing left to do now is basically a camera or filter. Now, as you can see, this is quite a simple design. It's a lot of textures, a lot of layering up. Now, I've done my blue on the right here quite dark, so what I'm going to do is try to change that in camera or filter, but I suggest to you that you use a lighter blue when you do this, because it will just make the design look a lot better. What we're going to do is we're going to group it all together, uh, unlock these layers, and group that. Oh, and that one. Okay, select them all now, make sure they're unlocked. Then Command, Shift, Option, E, make a screenshot, and then filter, camera or filter. Now what we're going to do is just go through and change some colors, exposures, contrast, all the things that you would usually do um, when you are designing and when I've made posters before. Um, but yeah, hope you've enjoyed this video guys. Um, as you can see, it's quite simple to create stuff like this. 
doesn't take too much time it's not too complicated but yeah that's what i'm trying to get you guys to understand that if you you actually watch what i'm doing and you definitely use the camera or filter there'll be a link in the description to a video on how to use it it will really enhance your designs because as you can see if i turn this on the side by side you can see that it's already changed from a okay design to a nice design so if you go to curve add in some shadow in again and then detail, you really want to use detail, sharpen the image up. Noise reduction, you can do a little bit and color noise. And then here, I'm just going to lighten up the blue, so like that. So as you can see, it just looks a bit nicer and it doesn't get overwhelming. Um, but yeah, add some nice reds in, something like that. I think I kind of like this design a bit better than my first one, you know? The joys of YouTube, you get to do it all again. So guys, last thing I'm going to do is add some grain, vignette. I'm not telling you what to do on the camera or filter because this is your own design. You don't need to copy me for this, but you can if you want. I, I'm not going too quick, so you should be able to follow along. But yeah, this is your own part. You can change this and make it look how you want and obviously tailor it to the images you're using unless you're using the ones I've used. Um, but yeah, so that's all that done. If I, if, now, if you can see the resemblance, see, it looks a lot better, a lot cleaner, a lot more, lot more crisps. And uh, yeah, if I click OK there, there's our design. Looks a lot better than before. Let's have some explosions back, back. There we go, I hope you're enjoying the explosions because I'm enjoying using them in the editing. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you've learned something from this design. Now, in the future, I am moving house. So next week, I'll be moving house. So the videos might become a bit sparse. So I'll keep you updated on the Instagram. So make sure you follow there and on the Twitter. Um, and I'll let you know what's going on, guys. But hopefully, it shouldn't be too long until the next video. But I'm trying to record a few, so I've got some in advance to edit. Uh, but yeah, guys, hopefully, you've enjoyed this. Hope you've uh, learned something. And let me know in the comments what you think of the video and what you want to see for the next video. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.